Welcome back. Today's video is going to look at continuous and discrete data and broken line graphs. So let's get started. Continuous data is when the value can be anything. Continuous data is measured. For example, temperatures are continuous because they can change. You can have a temperature of 10.432456 degrees. The speed of a car is continuous because you can measure it. It can be going 45 kilometers per hour or 92.45435 kilometers per hour. Discrete data can only have fixed values. Discrete data is counted. For example, shoe sizes are fixed. They are discrete because your shoe size can, can be six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and so on. Basically, you can't buy a shoe that's like five and three quarters. If you roll a die, you can only land on one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can't roll a five and a half. So let's look at continuous or discrete. The speed of a car, as we said, it is continuous. The number of cats in your neighborhood, well, that would be discrete because you can actually count them and you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You cannot have anything different. Your body weight, it can be measured so it is continuous because it changes. The number of dentists in Ontario, this is discrete because you can actually count that. The number of Chromebooks in our school, that is discrete. You can actually count those. The height of a student would be continuous because it's measured. The number of students in a classroom is discrete because you can count it. Your exact age right now would be continuous. Well, your the age thing is a little tricky because your age is always changing and you don't you're not necessarily 11 years old except for on your 11th birthday. So I'm going to put this down as continuous. You may see it as discrete in other places. Running a race would be continuous because you can measure it. The length of a leaf is continuous because you can measure it. The number of teachers at our school would be discrete because you can count them. Is the data on each axis continuous or discrete? So number of chocolate bars sold, this is discrete. You can actually count this. Now for the number of chocolate bars eaten, this can be different. This would be continuous because we don't know once the chocolate bars leave the store, what happens to them. You don't know if someone eats a full one or half of one or a quarter of one. So this is continuous. We don't know exactly what the data is. I know this bar graph shows something here, but we don't really know. Let's look at our second part of the lesson, which is the broken line graph. So these two graphs have the exact same information. They are graphing the temperatures. And this right here, this broken line graph, is more appropriate to use when you are doing anything over time. So a broken line graph is only used when you are dealing with time. So that's whether it's days, uh, actual time, years. This is what you would use a broken line graph. So draw a broken line graph and then answer the next questions. We'll do that. Now it's time to plot the points. Now that we've plotted the points, we will connect the dots. Okay, we're done. What is the range between the smallest and the largest number of pairs sold? So range is biggest number subtracted by the smallest number. 123 minus two equals 121. From which month to which month is there the greatest increase of sales? I would say it's October to November. How does the broken line graph show it? Well, there's a huge bike. The data goes up. Why do you think so many skates are sold in November and December? Well, it's because it's winter. Winter starting and people want to get their ice skates. Our final slide looks at a weather graph and it asks us, does it show discrete data or continuous data? And because it is a temperature graph, it's going to show continuous data because it is measured. So that's our video on broken line graphs and continuous and discrete data. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.